All right, it's time for some sludge and sludge. That's Red Ripley times two, AKA the big red dude. And uh, we're gonna try and go to the agency today, see if we could take out Midas, give him the Midas touch. They were throwing up the uh, Travis Scott microphone stand. We're on fire today, folks. The only, the only way you could tell us apart is our backpacks. One of us has the uh, Shadow Henchman backpack that Brutus wears. And the other one has the uh, Chuggis backpack. I'll tell you what, if I eliminate anyone or knock any henchmen, I'll give you the, uh, the Red Ripley voice. I was going to do the whole video with it, but it's, it's a little extreme. I don't know if you could handle it, and I don't know if I could handle it. You could just do it in bits and pieces. So we got that cool glider that's raining down on me. That looks like a Turk's glider. So I always pick a favorite place to land. The treasure chest under the stairs is one of them. I have about four or five different locations. I, I switch it up weekly. But they got that big old challenge. 10,000 damage to opponents. By the end of the season. To get your mega XP points. So we're going to be wanting to go to the agency a lot. Let's, let's knock this henchman. And then let's take him out of the game. Take his weapon. Oh, I, I was going to do the voice, wasn't I? Enemy move just got not a plan of sludge. Come on, come on, tell me what it means. A revolution, tell me what it means. Imagine that for 20 minutes. You could thank me later for sparing you from that. But that's a little taste of what that might have been like. I like to mess around with different character voices. Take out this dude. He's holding the minigun, which always amazes me because it's the biggest gun in the game. So why is it not the maxi gun? I guess because it sounds like another word, which, which isn't too pleasant. Let's see how many hits it takes to knock this down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 hits if you don't quite nail the target each time. That's a solid statue right there, Jack. So I don't know why I'm throwing a mine at this guy. He's going to take me out and good. Sometimes I, I just roll into a panic and do the exact wrong thing. That's human nature, right? Luckily, my buddy's there to, to heal me up. I like how those things float when they don't quite lock onto something. Alright, here's the creeping cardboard. How about some creepy cardboard? What would that look like? How come my partner's pointing the uh, minigun at me? Well, let's have a boxing match right now. I want to beat Glass Joe. Remember that game Knockout? That game was awesome. Who are the characters? Big Bull? No, Bald Bull. <laughs> Big Bull. I guess he could have been called Big Bull. I don't suppose that guy doesn't see us in the boxes, right? Would it kill me to aim? I always forget to aim. I don't know why that is. I think it's because it reminds me to aim the toothpaste. Speaking of toothpaste, I always switch between Colgate and Crest. Everyone's- oh, look at this guy. So did I get credit for both of those? Or did I just get one guy? It looked like one guy healing his buddy, and then I took them both out. I don't know how that went down. It happened so fast. I guess since it's going up on YouTube, we could just keep rewinding it and looking. Why don't you guys determine, did I get one guy or two guys? There's the creeping cardboard again. That creepy cardboard just shows up everywhere. Right. 
getting all my stuff here. You guys are glad I didn't do the voice, right? I'm glad I didn't do the voice. Alright, so I'm going to have a little building faux pas here. It's a classic move that I make. I build a ramp, I go for the jump, and bam, I miss. So I'm going to give up and jump in this trash bin. Go in the sneaky way. That's a fine addition to Fortnite, I might add. All those little secret passages. They should have more secret sneaky stuff in the game. I still want them to have a FNAF crossover where you open a chest and uh, out pops Freddy Fazbear or Bonnie or Chica or Foxy or one of the other fine characters. Storing the slurp things. Alright, we got separated. I highly advise that you stick with your partner when you're playing duos. I, I tend to get separated. I'm pretty bad at looking at the map. I, I can usually not tell where other people are. I also wear glasses that slide off my face. Alright, so we're just rolling through the vents here. Getting ventilated. Before the match is out, I'll, I'll do a couple more uh, sludge Im impersonations. Maybe after a another elimination. As a celebration. Alright, so I, I know that my buddy is near the vault. So I gotta become unvaulted. Crawl through this vent, and we can meet up by the, by the vault. Make sure not to trigger this uh, this motion sensor. It got me. All right, it's been uh, psyched out. All right, let's see what we got here. Anything good in the vault? You gonna open that vault? I know that you got the key. I don't have it. Ripley versus Sludge. And then what's the story with the purple guy? I don't think we ever really got any resolution to that last season. They should put out mini-movies. Fortnite. They have all the animation. That would be fantastic. Just throwing that idea out for you. Because I know there's a lot of fan-made stuff, but I want the official thing. I want to know the real story of what really went down. Alright. There's a lot of, uh... My buddy's, uh, screaming in the background. Speaking of, uh, my little buddy, you guys remember Gilligan's Island? <laughs> that was a show. What was up with the coconut radio? Alright, let's see what we got. I think that's a pretty decent loadout. I should probably shuffle it around a little bit, get the sniper rifle in the position of the... Uh, actually, you know what? I'll just leave it for now. And not a lot of action, just running around the agency, running into nobody. Kyle just pointed out that uh, when the button is blue, you don't have to scan it. I don't know if that's true or not, he just said that. There's the reboot van. Who's gonna reboot the van? Alright, let's get in the chopper. This thing works like half the time. I've had matches where I'm running from a storm and I can't get in the chopper. I like saying that. Chopper. I gotta do a New Jersey accent for you. We're going to get out of the chopper real quick. Get on the rooftop. And I like to build a little sniping station here. Like, I like to do it in one of these little nooks. I'll show you how it's done. It's really simple. All you need is a little bit of metal. Put up a couple ramps. Knock out both ceilings. Biggity-bam. Sniping station created. 
Oh, it looks like someone's sniping us. There's the sniper. He's a little jumping jack. I can't get a lock on him. Oh! Looks like you got knocked. That's quite something else. Oh, there he is, swimming in the water. Yeah, I think we're just gonna let him go for now. It's gonna be the fish that got away. Alright, what do you want to do? You want some health? Alright. Got a little background noise here. Can't be helped. Alright. Someone coming up. Let's see if we can send them back down. At the very least, we'll take out the ramps. This is when the minigun really comes in handy when you're trying to knock down structures. Get a little bit of metal. Nothing wrong with a little bit of metal to get your blood pumping. Oop. Oof! You leave me just got a tiny bit of the phone. I mean, a little bit of time. I'm just a little bit of time. I'm just a little bit of time. I'm just a little bit of time. The uh, sludge impersonation can get a little bit of uh, grating on your ears. So I'm, I'm just going to whip it out a couple times during this match. It's interesting for, for about three seconds. If you want to know how I did that, uh, I'll, I'll give away my uh, voiceover secret. It's, it's nothing too tricky. ramps in case someone wants to try and get back up here because uh, I don't want anyone else coming up here this is our rooftop we're gonna move on to the storm approaching why don't you do some dance moves on the, uh, what is that, the uh, platform that's a beautiful waterfall reminds me of Yosemite Gorgeous George, the wrestler. I don't remember him. What, from the 1960s, possibly? He was the predecessor to uh, Rick Flair. He was a, a blonde wrestler. Woo! I used to love Rick Flair. What an amazing performer. Be the man, you gotta beat the man. That's what he used to say. Who wants to ride Space Mountain? Styling and profiling. He had so many great catchphrases. You really gotta give it up to the man. A lot of you don't know this, but uh, back in the uh, 70s and early 80s, the wrestling organizations were regional. The WWF, which is now the WWE, was located in New England. So you had to live in New England to see that. Luckily, I lived in Connecticut, so I, I had those guys walking around town. I remember I was at the beach and I saw Bob Backlund walk, walking around, the uh, WWF champion from the uh, early 80s. That was, that was quite awesome. That guy was huge. And then uh, Ric Flair was part of the NWO, NWA, actually, at that time. Oh, let's see if we can get this guy. Is it hybrid? I remember when we vacationed in Florida and watched wrestling on TV down there. I was, I was really excited to see Ric Flair and uh, Dusty Rhodes and all those guys in the NWA. I only used to see him in the wrestling magazines. Yeah, Fortnite and wrestling, they go hand in hand. They should really do a, a WWE Fortnite crossover event. Imagine that. That'd be insane. John Cena putting his finishing move on someone. 
I'm a little bit behind the loop. I haven't watched in about 10 years. So I don't know who's big now. Goldberg used to be one of my guys. I used to love Goldberg. And Sting. Sting was so awesome. The Sting and Splash. Brett the Hitman Heart. I used to have a life-size cardboard cutout. I think I still do somewhere in storage. I'm, I'm not sure what I would even do with that. It's just, it's just a cool thing to have. Alright, well back, back to the game. I, I could go on about wrestling all day. I used to go on a website called uh, smarks.com. That's the words smart and mark combined to make the word smart. That was an interesting website. I think it's defunct now. But uh, they focus primarily on wrestling gimmicks. I remember seeing John Cena before he was John Cena. He was calling himself the prototype. And he was wrestling in... Uh, boy, I can't remember the name of that organization. They were based out of Anaheim, though. It was a WWE minor league uh, development organization. Was it Ultimate Pro Wrestling? I think it was Ultimate Pro Wrestling. And they used to uh, have their events at the Galaxy in Anaheim. Is that Anaheim? Somewhere in Orange County. It all gets confused in my mind. After all, I'm playing Fortnite, so I shouldn't be thinking about all this other stuff. Alright, we're up on a hill. We got great long range weapons. Rocket launcher, sniper rifle. Let's see if we can make do with these. There's another chest. Imagine if I open this up and out pops uh, Freddy Fazbear. That'd be insane. Epic Games? Should totally do that. Alright, we're approaching the end of the match. Six people left. Could it be three teams or two? You would think with all the firepower we're throwing down at this guy that he would be down and out by now. Yeah, sometimes the luck's not with you. There we go. 95 taken off you. Throwing up the sheet metal. Tell you what, if I could take out one of these guys, I'll give you the, the sludge voice one last time. For better or for worse. This is just such a beautiful landscape. Whoever rendered this has did a great job. I could just hang out in this game and not even play. Just hang out, go fishing or something. I'm just shooting off rockets at random here, hoping to hit something. They call those Hail Marys. A, I think it's a football term. When you, when you just throw the football and hope someone actually catches it on your team. So there's five now. Three teams left. Or possibly four, but it looks like two people are working in tandem. Let's see what we can do here. I found some rock. Rock is good. Oh, I got knocked again at the end of the game. This is quite advantageous that my partner's right here to uh, bring me back in the game so quickly. And I think they're firing on someone else. That that was a distraction as well. Looks like they're building over us. I don't think this is going to fare well. For us. Nah, second place. Oh well. Better than third. <laughs> Kudos to you who won. Have a great day, everyone. Alright, it's time for some sludge and sludge.